Welcome back everyone. Uh, back at the clover plot today. Got a little bit of grass coming up in here. So gonna try to get that taken care of with some clethodum again here today. And then we're gonna come back with the lawn mower and try to get this mowed off a little cleaner. Um, we hit it with the bush hog here a couple weeks ago. But some of those weeds shot back up. The clover's finally got some moisture so it's starting to look a little bit better. So while it's looking healthy, while it's looking good, we're gonna try to get these weeds at bay here and then not really touch these plots until next year. So let's get some clethodum on it, then let's get to mowing, and hopefully this fall this clover looks a little bit better. And then as we transition into next year, we'll probably do some frost seeding and this get these plots looking in tip-top shape. Welcome back to our brassica plot. Yes, this is the brassica plot that we killed off uh, for science. So we're here today. We spread seed on this a couple weeks ago. Really hot, really dry, didn't get a lot of moisture. They were calling for five days of rain. We got one day of rain maybe out of that. So the, the plot did not germinate well, did not grow well. So we sprayed it again just now. There was a few brassica plants that came up, but not enough. We're gonna spread it again. Um, it's evening of August 13th, got rain coming on the 15th, uh, the 16th, 17th, and 18th. So hopefully we have some better luck. Uh, we need it. Uh, where we have brassica established, we've actually are seeing some nitrogen stress, um, as well as definitely some heat stress. So we're gonna spread the rest of our Merit brassica seed. Uh, then we're actually gonna spread 100 pounds per acre of urea, 4600, 46% nitrogen, um, at 100 pounds per acre on this plot. Um, and hopefully we get this uh, brassica looking good. We also have some weeds out in the center uh, that are coming up pretty heavy. And uh, so we are going to uh, see how this nitrogen responds to that brassica, if they can outcompete some of those weeds, see how they look here in a week, and then we'll come up with a game plan for those. So we're gonna spread the rest of this merit seed and then we're gonna spread some urea. Okay, that's the last of our seed. We're gonna put 100 pounds per acre of urea out here. Went over to the side that the brassicas are on and uh, they are quite yellow. We're about two weeks late on our nitrogen application. Um, life happened, work happened, right? So uh, starting to see quite a bit of chlorosis show up out here, some stunted growth, sick looking plants. Um, but hopefully with the moisture we have coming later in this week, as well as this shot of nitrogen, our early planted brassicas get back off to the races. So let's get some nitrogen on it. Got a 50 pound bag of uh, nitrogen we purchased at Rural King earlier today. We're gonna put it in our Earthway spreader and we're gonna get it spread.
All right, hopefully we catch a few of these rains and uh, we'll see what this looks like in a few weeks. So in our actual stay in Nebraska, um, we got hit by two weeks, no rain, um, hot temperatures, and it did a number on the brassicas. Um, I was a little late to getting the nitrogen out as well, so the brassica got a little more established than I wanted. Um, but that was just, you know, what I what I was dealt with because I didn't want to put the nitrogen out when there was no rain and we were in the middle of a drought. Um, and so we got the nitrogen on it now. We got it about a week ago. Uh, today, to get rid of some of this common ragweed and grass, we're going to clip the common ragweed and grass off just above the height of the brassicas with a string trimmer. And then we're going to come in with some clethodum to take care of that grass. And then we're going to let this thing be for the rest of the season. Um, hopefully it comes through and we have some brassica stand here this fall. Um, and we'll maintain the side that we did kill off as it establishes. But it shouldn't need much um, if everything goes as planned. So let's get to weed whacking and then we'll hit it with some clethodum. <laughs> All right guys, string trimmer is complete. Stand is not good. The drought just, the drought just really hurt us. So um, I think I learned my lesson not to plant your brassicas in early July. I'm thinking that middle of August is plenty early for Northern Indiana, uh, as long as rain's coming. So maybe push that to like August 5 at the earliest and then as late as August 30, try to have it in. Um, We'll see how this rebounds. I'm going on a hunting trip here for a week, so we won't be able to get out and replant it if there's rain coming. Uh, so we might be looking at some rescue cereal rye um, on this side in some areas in order to, to have somewhat of a plot and keep the uh, weeds down. But let's get some clethodum on it, get this grass out of here, and then hopefully inspect it as soon as we get back from our hunting trip and uh, see, make a decision then. Okay, that should take care of the grass. We'll check it when we get back from antelope hunting and uh, make a game time decision. One little interesting thing of note that I noticed as I was out in the plot today, is along the edge, the brassicas are doing much better. Um, and then as you get towards the bottom, they're also doing a little bit better than up on the top of this little hill. And so that tells me two things. One, the shade is providing a lot of stress relief in these brassicas. Uh, they actually, they're, they're alive, you know, from that July 2nd plant and they look really, really good. And then you get away from the edge where it's going to get more sun and heat and they're dead. They're gone, right? And then that lower bottom ground, even though it's not in the shade, it's doing a little bit better, likely because there was more moisture. Maybe it was a little cooler down the bottom um, and it was able to um, avoid some of that heat stress that caused some of these plants up towards the top and in the middle of the plot to die. Mm -hmm. 